Hey guys, it's uh, Ethanomics here, uh, coming back to you with another review. Today's review will be on the Pilot Metropolitan. It is a fountain pen, fountain pen version, because I know that you can get it in other variations, ballpoint, uh, gel, ro gel roller. I don't know if you can get a gel roller. You can get a roller ball. Here's a close-up, just for the first thing, of the nib. I have blue ink in here right now. There's a body. Cap. It can be posted. If you have longer fingers. But of course I am, you know, younger. I'm not going to go away my age on the internet. But, uh, yeah, if you have longer fingers, this will be good if you want to post it. And you have bigger fingers, so that would be, that'd be good. Um, let's talk about some of its features. Of course, it has a pocket clip. Uh, it has a snap cap. I know that uh, some fountain pens, well, actually, a lot of fountain pens have a screw-on. But this one has a snap cap. Sorry, guys, my hair is crazy today. This one has a snap cap, which means that it's just very fast and effortless and putting it back on, taking it out to right away. And it's a very smooth rider. So let me just get something to show you how good it writes. Use a sticky note here. This is a kind of an awkward position, guys, so it looks kind of weird. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Lighting's not very good, so you can't really see the ink. There we go. You know what? I'll just show you. I'll just write and then show you. Hello, welcome to my review. So as you can see, it writes very well. This is orange paper, I know, so you can't really see the actual color. So I will show you on a piece of lined paper. Should have gotten this more prepared, guys, but uh, I just wanted to get a video out for you today. Haven't done one in a couple weeks, so yeah. So, uh, there's the color of the ink. I think that it looks good. I will say that the, that the cartridges this one use, these pens use, Pilot, um, the Pilot fountain pens, the ones that are, that are, can be refilled with cartridges or converters, have proprietary cartridges and converters. I do not have the converter with me right now, but um, you can look it up on the internet. Sorry, guys. But here is the cartridge. It's blue ink cartridge. Now, I did order a pack of blue because I wanted blue because that's my favorite pen color, but um, it can be getting, can be, uh, can have other colors. For instance, it came with a black ink cartridge. So, yeah. And yeah. Made in Japan. Doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. And it isn't bad. Um, sorry guys, uh, you can unscrew this and you can get to the uh, cartridge. But I cannot unscrew it at the moment. But I will post pictures. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. there's the pen. I do remember uh, this is the first fountain pen I've ever gotten, so I was kind of a uh, noob, as they call them. But um, when I first got it, I noticed there was some 
ink on the nib, so I was like, oh, I'll wipe that off, not knowing that that's where the ink comes out. So I got like a big glob of ink on my finger at school, because that's where I use this thing. And I had to use like a whole big glob of tissues to get it almost to come off. But uh, yeah, uh, oh yeah, that reminds me of another thing. The ink is very permanent with any fountain pen, because it is a uh, more liquefied pen. Not liquefied pen, but liquefied um, ink than, say, your normal, uh, ballpoint. But, uh, yeah. I've had this for a while now, and I really like it. I really like to use it at school because it's so smooth in writing, and you can just, uh, take it. It's very heavy-duty. Uh, it's heavy. It's made out of uh, aluminum, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I really do think that it's made out of aluminum. And, uh, yeah, it feels good in the hand. I will say one thing that you do have to be careful of. Um, if you get ink in this cap, how it attaches here is it will rub onto the place where I, at least, I put my fingers right there, uh, the ink will get on there. So, uh, yeah, you should look out for that because the ink will get on your fingers if you do that. So, um, yeah. But, yeah. They also come in uh, several different uh, styles and stuff. But I just have the normal, the normal black one here with the, re with the regular band. I, I've, I've heard that they come in gold as well and uh, silver, yeah. And I bought this um, for eighteen ninety nine off Amazon. It wasn't very expensive, uh, you know, compared to a lot of fountain pens over there. Hundred dollars or thousands of dollars. But um, in my experience and from many other YouTubers, because I like to research the things that I buy, this pen is a really good pen for, the bu for uh, a budget or... It's just a really good overall pen um, for low cost. For uh, beginners and, fount and uh, experts like in the fountain pen world, I am a beginner personally, and I don't think that I'm going to be investing into another one just because that I don't really spend, a lot, well, we spend a lot on a pen. But I do like this one, so that's why I spent 20 bucks on this. And, you know, for beginners, it will sound like a lot. But, for example, Mont Blanc, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mont Blanc, um, they... They sell, like, their pens are, like, thousands of dollars. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people say they're worth it. Of course, you know, their money situation might be different than all the rest of us. But, you know, anyway. <laughs> I really think it's a great pen. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I hope you like my review of the Pilot Metropolitan regular black, and uh, I have blue ink cartridge in here, so, uh, bye guys.